Steph Curry was great last night, Skip. I think he showed by far he was the best player on the court, and it was not even close. And coming into these finals, Skip, Jason Tatum had played every bit as good on the east side as Steph had played for the west. And I thought, you know what, it could be close. I think, I think Jason Tatum right now is playing better heading into the finals than what Steph Curry has shown. And lo and behold, last uh, uh, throughout this series, Steph Curry showed he was head and shoulders above anybody else that had played. Now, he had one off game. Um, what was that, game five? Game five in which uh, uh, he did not shoot the ball very well. But if you look at the other five games, he was sensational. Averaged 31 and a half points a game. But Skip, I thought it was last night, it was his efficiency in which he shot the basketball. 12 of 21 from the floor, six of 11 from the three-point line. The rest of the team shot 37% from the floor. Clay last night, we were expecting to maybe see a game six Clay. He did not show up. Andrew Wiggins played what? Andrew Wiggins played sensational defensive basketball. Didn't shoot the ball particularly well. I thought overall he did do a great job in the series, but last night in the series was about Steph Curry, and we're going to get more into detail about his place and what, what, what this uh, uh, win and what this finals MVP mean. But, Skip, he had big basket after big basket, and you love the show. Every time when Steph was having these great games, you say it was Clay Thompson that hit the shot. But last night, this guy, the little guy, Steph Curry, he hit the shot last night that put him up, and they never looked back from that moment. Celtics get too complacent. Skip, they got, what, what they go, 12-2. Everybody's celebrating. Jason Tatum holding the pose, bro. Mm. You're three minutes into the ball game. You going to hold the pose? Can we, we got that shot that Steph Curry hit mm. that really changed the entire complexion of the ball game. I don't know if we got that dialed up. You know, maybe we that, that, that is right here. He gives the ball. He gives it up. He never stopped. Oh, play Pritchard. Take this with you. Okay, are you talking about 2.53 left in the first quarter? Yeah! Oh, yeah, in the first yeah, quarter. Yeah. Oh, so now he's first quarter no, step. No, no. He's usually third quarter no. step, but last night he was first quarter no, step. No, because what you do is that Clay Thompson hit a shot in the third quarter. That means they have the entire fourth quarter left to play. They still have five minutes to left in the third quarter, and you say that changed the complexion of the ball game, mm. even though there's 17, 18 minutes left. Mm. I'm just showing you. Steph Curry hit a three, and they never gave that lead up. Mm. Even when they made their run in the third quarter, Steph hit three after three after three to keep them at bay. Well, he had three threes. Uh, okay. That's not, that's not right. enough. Okay. Three threes. If I hit three threes a quarter, there's four quarters in the game. I'm going to be sitting pretty... Shh. Sitting pretty well, What were the scores when he hit his three threes in the third quarter? Help me out. You got all the stats. Hold on. You got all the research. Yeah. Hold on. You got Th this the expert team. This, this is what show I got. Show me, show me I the got, threes. Hold on. I got Steph Curry shooting 12 of 21. Well, wait, 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 no, on. don't leave that point behind. You said he hit three after three after three to put the, he put him up 16, 19, and 22 in the third quarter with those three threes. Yeah. You impressed? Yes. I'm not. Yes. Silly me. How did I'm he, not. How did he get that lead? 16, how did he get that lead? Did, was, Is it did, my what? turn to go? No, I mean, okay. but since you interrupted, go ahead. No, no. No, you go, go ahead. Go ahead. You go. ahead. Make your point. Go ahead. Make your point. Go ahead. No, no. No, go ahead. Go ahead. You I, I, I know no, you, you throw it out, I get no. to counterpunch, right? But, but no, you get to counterpunch when it's your turn. Oh. But you interrupted me, but go ahead now. So go ahead, you, I'm going to you. You get to just throw out a bunch of baloney that sits there unopposed? But that's the point, is that you get your opportunity to refute what I said oh. when it's your turn. Well, but you, go ahead. You no, no, speak so no. long, I don't even no. know where to but go back to. It's your turn, go ahead. Really? Yeah, you, it's your turn. Okay. Your, the Warriors won, so you get to bask okay. in the glory. Go ahead. So you're going to give all the credit last night if I can... No, I didn't get... No, no, no. It's all Steph Curry. Curry. It was all about Steph no, last night, right? They say the biggest reason Golden State won, I said I'm Steph because okay. Steph was great. I didn't give him all okay. the credit. The biggest reason that Golden State won last night is that your Boston Celtics were finals frauds. <laughs> biggest frauds I've ever seen in the finals because this was an embarrassing eyesore of a basketball team that had no idea how to win a basketball game at the highest level. Skip, they won two. Okay, well, they also lost two at home, and they lost two at home to Milwaukee, and they lost two at home yeah. to Miami. They were six and six in the playoffs at home. Six and six? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Fraudulent Boston frauds. And last night wasn't the Boston Tea Party. It was the Boston Turnover Party. Am I right? Yes. It was the all-time turnover party. I could not even believe my eyes how bad it got. 22 turnovers. You know and I know. I wish I could have had a little 
fly on the wall videotape of Shannon Sharp up in his palatial estate up there in Bel Air because every time it looked like Boston might make it kind of interesting, they would just come right down and spit it up. Yep. Right? They, yep. they would just up chuck all over the floor. And I'd say, that, that's impossibly bad. Right. It looked like after a while they had five Westbrooks playing at one time, they did. right? Yep. Wild hands, wild ideas, no ideas, up in the air with no place to go. I've never seen anything like it. In fact, just to drive home the point, just for those who might have missed this eyesore of a basketball game on Boston's part last night, could we just see the 22 turnovers in a row just to to pile on, if you will, just to rub <laughs> your nose in it. I want to see them in a row because this is all time, all time, all time. Uh, yeah, we need the clown music. What What was that, Jalen Brown? Come on. What? J Jason, come on. Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart plays play some play dumb basketball. Just he played play dumb football. basketball. He got yeah. two fouls and okay. just runs over. No, uh, you can't dribble yeah. two, two people. You Jalen can't Brown. Do it. And every time it touches that guy's hands, it seems like it's going nowhere. Yeah. Okay, and Robert, no. No, Robert, Jason Tatum with that terrible. Uh, Derek uh, White was awful. He got into the act. Derek White was, he was awful, awful last night. He was awful. What? Jason Tatum, what? arm bar. Whoops. What? what? Double uh, dribble. Double dribble. Okay. Al shot Hoover, clock bad violation. Shot clock. Okay. Do <laughs> what? <laughs> Jalen Brown. What? No, it can't get worse. It can't. It did. It got worse. How many times do you see that in the finals? Double team just just gets it kicked I mean, up in the air and gone. They were bad. They were okay. awful. Marcus Smart was. Everybody was bad last line. night. Okay. Jalen Brown. He just. This is an NBA Finals closeout game at home. Are you kidding? What was that? What was that? That's what it was. Heads hanging. Yeah. I, I've never seen anything like it where even in the fourth quarter, there are a couple of moments where I thought, I don't know, could they at least make it kind of interesting? Well, it was a 10 point ball game and they turned the ball over in back to back possessions when they could have cut it to four. And the next thing you know, Golden State pushes it back to what, 13, 15. And so that was the end of the ball game. But Skip, we, we talked about this. I, I was just convinced they're going to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. Now, the most turnovers they had in the game in, a, in, in the playoff this year were 24. I think they had that against Milwaukee. But the most in the finals, now you have 22 turnovers. You expect to win how? Jason Tatum shot zero free throws in 44 minutes last night. Marcus, hold on. Excuse me. In 40 minutes last night, Jason Tatum shot zero free throws. Marcus Smart in 39 minutes shot zero free throws. Marcus Smart had three turnovers. Jalen Brown had five turnovers. Jason Tatum had five turnovers. And you expect to beat the Warriors with that DNA, with that pedigree. How? Mm, good question. Your man, Jason Tatum, you said going into the finals, there's a seat reserved for him yep. at the superstar table. Yep. And I kept asking, you sure it's not the kiddies <laughs> table? Because Jason Tatum became a disaster. He was, he he was, was a particularly disaster in the fourth quarter when... Fourth quarters, uh, all, all of them. them. He shot six for 25 in the combined fourth quarter. Six for 25, that's 24%. Every time they needed him, he was nowhere to be found. Would you believe that Jason Tatum managed in these six games in the finals with, with the whole playoff run? If you look at the whole playoff run, he just broke the all-time playoff record for turnovers in a run. He, it, it took 24 games, so they played a lot of games. Right. But he hit the keep it 100 mark. <laughs> he, he, he was keeping it 100. He gave it 100, cause, huh? Because he had 100 turnovers. 100 turnovers? And you guess, know that reason he had four games. He played 24 games. That's four, a little over four games. Okay. <laughs> and would you believe the record he broke was held by your other man, LeBron James, had 94, so he broke it by six. Now, that was in 22 games in 2018 against right. these same Golden State Warriors. Right. I'm going to give you this. The Warriors do steal the basketball. Right. They're great with their hands. Steph has been very good with his hands in the past because once upon a time, long ago in his MVP year, he led the league, league in steals. steals. So yes. I'm going to give him that. He's good with his hands. He's not a good on-ball defender right. because you can take advantage of that Steph. Right. Well, but, not last night because no. they tried to post him and he was he, okay. he would not he, let he Marcus was fighting. Mark. He was fighting. They, they fought a lot harder than Boston did at home. Mm -hmm. So would you believe that that Jalen Brown? I'm sorry that Jason Tatum over Jalen Brown had 26 more turnovers 
Jalen Brown was second in, in the whole league in playoff turnovers at 74 to the 100. So it's 26 more turnovers than anybody else in the playoffs belong to your man, Jason Tatum. It's hard to win basketball games that way, especially at home. It's hard to win. Skip, you mentioned, now you just said, okay, one guy had 100, the other guy had 74. Yeah. Your two top ball handlers have 174 turnovers between the two. How do you overcome that? It lets you know, like, how do they even, I'm looking, I'm like, guys, how do you even make it this far with the way you turn know. the ball over? I don't know. So I look back, they took advantage of a psychologically wrecked Brooklyn team that had been a mess all year long, swirling around Kyrie's decision not to get vaccinated. Okay. And then they make the trade. They're forced into the trade of, of obviously, James to Philadelphia for, for Ben, ben Simmons. Simmons, who, again, he'd made the last two all-star teams. He'd made two straight first-team all-defenses. Mm -hmm. And he shows up in Brooklyn, and he can't play. And I don't know what happened, but he did have back surgery. But but the point was they didn't have that third member of their big three. Right. And the Celtics attacked Kevin, and he did not handle it very well. Mm -hmm. And they crumbled. They had a chance to win a couple of games, but then they crumbled in four. And then against Milwaukee, it mattered greatly that there was no closer for the Milwaukee. No Chris Middleton. Fuck, there's no Chris Middleton. And then we get to Miami, and if you can please, uh, I'll, I'll go to my grave wondering what happened to Jimmy Butler in games three, four, and five. I don't know. He went completely south. He went off the grid. He he went AWOL on that team in three, four, and five. Didn't show up really again until seven. They had a chance. Jimmy had the ball in his hands. No, he played a, great in game six. Six, he did. Six. I'm just saying. But when we got to a game seven, and Jimmy had a shot right. to, to be here. This could have been Miami. I don't think Miami would have embarrassed itself quite the way Boston embarrassed itself. So the point was, even the bench players, I kept hearing, well, role players, bench players, they play better at home. L yeah. Look at the bench players. They were, oh, Derek White and Pritchard with awful skill. Look at what happened. They, they were horrendously bad because, what did they wind up here? Boston's bench was a minus 64. Minus 64? Meanwhile... In the first half, would you believe that Golden State's bench was plus 41 in the first half yeah. as they made that run that yeah. just pretty much ended the game? Because uh, Gary Payton second was a plus 17, Jordan Poole was a plus 14, and Looney came in was a plus 10. Well, it, it's hard to beat that right. when your bench is it, – it's not even – not showing it's up, not it's killing you. Yeah, it's, it, it kills. It's, it's just all of them are killing you. Well, the thing was, Skip, you're trying to play Derek White and Pritchard together. Now, both of these guys were, lat were, were, were not giving you anything offensively. Pritchard is a defensive liability, and Derek White looked lost last night. He, I, I just don't know what, what he had going on in his mind. And when you turn the ball over against a team like Golden State, they make you play double. This is the playoffs. The further along you go in the playoffs, Skip, you tell me, you show me a team that turns the ball over and they play a good team, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. Go to football. You turn the football over against a good team, what's going to happen, Skip? You commit errors against a good baseball team, they're going to get runs out of that. Mm. Okay, Boston, you turn the ball over. Yep. That's a very good team. That's a championship-winning team. They no understand they make you pay double for your mistakes. And you continuously, I still believe, I, I don't care what anybody says, and they can't convince me otherwise, with a better point guard, Boston would have had a better chance to win this series. Agreed. Because they keep putting the ball in Tatum and Brown's hand. They keep going iso ball, trying to create for either themselves or others. Agreed. And that's not what they're good at. Agreed. Marcus Smart played 40 minutes and get, went to the free throw line zero times. He had, uh, what do he have? He had three turnovers, and he had nine assists, and he went four of 12. Finals, frauds, all of the above. He was the defensive player of the year, yet he's not a point guard. I could not tell. Well, could you tell he was the defensive player of the year? I saw him run over a lot of people. Run and yeah. all that flopping. Mm -hmm. What did all that flopping get him, Skip? Mm. It got Steph getting wide open threes, mm -hmm. Clay shooting wide open threes. Yep. I couldn't tell. Now, I, I'm not saying he didn't deserve that award. Mm. He did based on what he did in the regular season. But I couldn't tell in the finals because Steph Curry got whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted, and he was supposed to be the primary defender on him. Okay, speaking of Steph, you called his game last night spectacular. Yeah. I I'll say he was good last night. I won't even go to very good. But here's the point. If you really look hard at what happened last night, I will give you he hit that shot with 226 left in the first quarter that did give them a one-point lead that they never, never relinquished, okay? I'll give you that. But it's pretty early because what happened in the big picture is impossibly 
Would you believe your Celtics were ahead 14 to 2 at the start of the yes. game? Because they came out torrid because their fans just lifted them. They're the best fans in basketball. It's the loudest crowd in basketball. It's the most energy expended within the confines of a four-walled arena that you have in basketball. And on the very energy of the decibel level, it lifted them to a 14-2 to two lead. And all of a sudden, they looked at each other, and, and you could just see their body language like, are we really this good? Or was that just an aberration? It was an aberration. Right. Because all of a sudden, here came Golden State. Would you believe that on top of trailing 14 to 2, that Golden State goes on a 21 to 0 run? It was the most in the last 25 years in a finals game, a 21 to nothing run, which went from Boston 22 to 16, up 22 to 16 with 253 left in the first, to trailing. 27, 28, uh, 37, 22. 37. Yeah, at one point, so they're yes. trailing by 15 at right. that point. And that was only a five minute span that, right. that, that they went on a 21 to nothing run. Okay, just for the record, Steph made that three in the 21 to nothing run, but that was all he did because right. for three of the minutes starting the second quarter, he He's sat. A bitch. So he was watching, which is why the plus minus for this, the the bench players was so high right. in the first half is because they were doing a lot of the damage, mm -hmm. okay? So Steph scored three of the 21 that gave them a 15-point lead, which they definitely were not going to relinquish because it never really even got close. Okay, just hear me out on this. Here are all of Steph's shots. He scored 29 more points after the 21 to nothing run. Right. I tell you, he's a great front runner, and I'm, I'm giving him a compliment because when he gets you down, he will shoot you right out of the gym. Mm -hmm. If he smells blood, he will just pour it on. But it's not 50-50 blood. It's when you're front running. It's, it's when you're stepping on throat. So here's what he does. Here, he, he had to score 29 more points after the 21 to nothing run. He hits a little nine footer to go up 13. Then he hits a three to go up 14. Then he, he gets uh, like an open layup. They, they right. just didn't guard him up 16. Then we talked about those three threes in the third to go up 16, 19, 22. Then in the fourth quarter, a layup. He, he would just drive on Al Horford. He yes. just couldn't guard him and right. nobody would come and help. I don't know where Grant Williams was. And that put him up 14. There was another layup to go up 11. There was another layup to go up 12. Then there was a three to go up 15. And then he ices it with two free throws to go up 15 and two more free throws to go up 12. And the, he, all, all of his points are scored with double-digit leads. So, so it's not like it ever really got close because... He wouldn't let it get close. He, okay. Well, the Boston Celtics wouldn't let it get close because they kept I, turning I, I the think, ball over. I think they didn't let it get close. And then if, if you look hard at, at what happened... Uh, you, you've got the Andrew. Uh, let, let's let's just look at this. Okay, so the only moment I had some doubt in the fourth quarter was Jalen Brown hit a three with 5:35 to go. They cut it to eight. Well, that's manageable, right. right? Yeah. And guess who came right down and made a three for Golden State? It wasn't Steph. It Wiggins. wasn't Clay. It certainly wasn't Draymond. It was Andrew Wiggins. 5:11 left. He makes a three. That this was the dagger. This is the one that put it back to double digits and put the game completely away. To Wiggins in the corner. And that's you, you want to talk about taking the crowd back yeah. out of the game because eight seems doable. Yeah, with and five 11, and a half 11 seems insurmountable, right? right? But they did a great job of moving the ball, Skip. There are a lot of times they tried to double, and the guy would find the open guy in the corner, yep. and somebody would hit a big shot. Ooh. Jordan Poole really got it going at, uh, late in the first quarter, midway through, and, and into the second. And that's why you mentioned the plus minus was so high, and the plus minus of Pritchard and Derek White was so low. Yeah. They were like, had only played like six minutes, and their, their plus minus was like minus 20. I'm like, how do you get a plus minus that bad because in such it was a short period of time? to nothing. <laughs> that's how. Way to go. So, was, congratulations. Did you burn your jersey at home last night for nah, nobody to see? I'm going to hold on to it. But old Steph Curry, <clears throat> Steph Curry kept a lot of receipts. Steph Curry, like them old people, got, got boxes and drawers and drawers of receipts really? of what people had said about it. Uh -uh. <clears throat> really? Huh. <laughs> well, well, he wasn't that great. No, uh, he right? was that great. Well, he, he got to play the finals frauds. No, 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 no. Uh, that they, disqualifies. They, no, hold on. Huh? That discredits. Only one that team, undercuts. Only one team got swept in the NBA playoffs this year in 2022. Uh, really? Only one. They did the sweeping. Uh Well, that was one man going solo. Oh, here we go. Now he's yeah. solo. Yeah. He should have stayed in Golden State, huh? That's what you're thinking? Well, I I'm thinking that he did what he <laughs> set out to do because he 
He vanquished LeBron twice. He went head to head with LeBron. We're talking Steph Curry and Clay and Draymond uh, had more so. to do that, that was than we all previously about thought. The finals MVP Kevin. Durant. Well, he need to get back to show to show me that's the case. Because mm. I'm right now, I'm uh, I'm with a lot of people. I don't know that to be as true as you what you're saying. Uh, with who? A couple of people on Twitter. Nah, with a couple of people. I mean that, that that's what they're saying. Uh, he was trending last night. Yeah. I don't know why he was trending, but he was trending. You saw it too. I actually did. Yeah, you see. Well, you go when you go over there, open up, <laughs> open up okay. your internet. You will see. All right. Congratulations. I think y'all cracked open some diet dew, and you were guzzling it this morning mm -hmm. before the show. Awesome start, gentlemen. The Warriors have won four championships mm. in the last eight years. Steve Kerr says this one means more. We've. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed, or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.